Digital mammography and stereotactic technology have now made needle localization breast biopsy possible with a minimally invasive surgical procedure that is more precise and less disfiguring than traditional biopsy technique. Small mammographic lesions such as this can be sampled with complete pathologic analysis of the lesion and the surrounding tissues by advanced breast biopsy instrumentation. The patient is placed supine on the padded surface and the breast is positioned through an opening and compressed by a sterile mammographic paddle. In front of the compression paddle is a motorized stage that will direct the advanced breast biopsy instrument or ABBY unit with a one millimeter degree of accuracy. Stereotactic digital mammograms are taken at plus and minus 15 degrees. Because the mammograms are stored in the computer, the images can be enhanced to clarify the lesion. In this example, the image can be inverted to highlight small microcalcifications which now appear as black dots. The location of the lesion is plotted in two dimensions in each of the stereotactic views. The computer then calculates the precise three-dimensional coordinates by parallax. The images can be further magnified to add to the precision of the localization. X, Y, and Z coordinates, accurate to within one millimeter, are then transmitted to the motorized stage. A sterile needle guide is attached to a movable post at the front of the stage assembly. The biopsy instrument is then fixed to the stage. First, the localizing needle is placed in the needle guide, then the body of the instrument is placed over four hooks on the stage and clicked back into position. A needle lock is rotated and clicked onto a stationary post to fix the needle mechanism to the guidance system and the needle advancement knob is rotated to the zero mark. The stage is motored to the zero position and the localizing needle is visually confirmed at the plane of the compression plate. The stage is then motored to the target position. After injecting local anesthesia, a four millimeter skin incision is made. The needle advancement knob is then released and dialed back to the depth corresponding to the location of the lesion in the breast. The needle is then pushed into the breast until the advancement knob clicks into its stop locking it to the assembly. Stereotactic digital mammograms are then taken to confirm that the localizing needle is at the lesion. The coordinates of the needle point can be calculated as an extra check. A T-fastener is then deployed at the end of the needle to fix the tissue in position during the biopsy. The location of the T-fastener is confirmed by another stereotactic digital mammogram. The images are enhanced as needed and the T-fastener is seen at the precise location of the calcification. The needle lock must be fixed to the stage to ensure that the needle and T-fastener do not move in the breast when the biopsy cannula is advanced. The platform is then dialed forward, advancing the biopsy cannula and circular cutting blade to the Z0 position. The location of the blade is verified visually and the Z coordinate is set. The skin and deep tissues are extensively anesthetized with buffered xylocaine. A transverse incision is made three to four millimeters longer than the diameter of the cannula. The skin edges are pulled over the edge of the circular blade and cannula as the platform is advanced forward. The motorized circular cutting blade is then activated by a foot pedal and the cannula platform is slowly advanced.
The cannula is gradually advanced beyond the position of the T-fastener and the lesion to a point calculated by the surgeon, usually 14 millimeters beyond the target coordinates. The knife blade is then withdrawn and a final stereoscopic digital mammogram is taken to verify that the lesion is contained within the biopsy cannula. The images are enhanced as needed on the computer and the coordinates of the T-fastener are plotted. The location of the lesion is also confirmed and the position of a wire snare at the deep end of the cannula is plotted. The computer calculates the precise X, Y, and Z coordinates of the T-fastener and the lesion, as well as the cannula, and in this case, confirms that the lesion is well within the cannula. A cautery snare at the distal end of the biopsy cannula is then activated. This transects the tissue and completes the biopsy, leaving a plug of breast tissue within the cannula. The needle lock is then disengaged from the fixation post to allow the needle and the T-fastener to withdraw with the cannula and keep the specimen captured within the biopsy unit. The platform is dialed backward until the cannula has been removed from the breast. In this case, the 20 millimeter cannula was used. 5 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 15 millimeter cannulae are also available. A 4x4, or a portion of a 4x4, is then inserted into the defect. The Abbey unit is removed, and the specimen is extruded from the open end of the cannula and oriented on the Mayo stand. A wire which fixes the T-fastener to the localization needle is released at the back of the instrument and then cut free. The 12 o'clock position is then marked on the specimen with a suture or silver clip. A digital mammogram is taken to confirm that the microcalcifications have been removed from the breast. A macrocalcification is seen on the mammogram that was calculated to be three centimeters deep to the target lesion. A specimen x-ray confirms that the lesion has been removed and the pathologist will be told that the T-fastener is three to four millimeters from the lesion. The wound is then closed. The incision for the large cannula should be 23 to 24 millimeters in length. For our first 70 patients, the indication for biopsy included calcification in 37 cases, a mass in 24 cases, and both calcification and mass in 9. The pathology was benign in 59 patients and malignant in 11, for a positive predictive value of 16% in our early series. During a one-year experience with image-guided biopsy, the positive predictive value was 16% for Abbey biopsies, 16% for core biopsies, 
and 33% for open procedures. The overall yield was 22%. In our first 70 cases, the specimen x-ray clearly confirmed the presence of the lesion in 69 and was suggestive in the other case. The pathology report was consistent with the x-ray finding in all 70 cases. There was one complication, a trivial ecchymosis. No infections or hematomas were seen. From our preliminary experience, we would conclude that the Abbey stereotactic localization breast biopsy is a safe and highly accurate technique. Because the same small incisions are used in each case for a given cannula size, and because a predictable specimen is removed with a sampling of marginal tissue, the procedure is less invasive than traditional biopsy techniques and generally leaves a superior cosmetic result. General anesthesia is never required. This procedure is presently indicated only as a diagnostic technique. 